Hello, and welcome to Train Sim World 4. Today we are on the East Coast Main Line, Peterborough to Doncaster route. We and we are on the uh, and we are driving this LNER Class 801 Azuma from Peterborough to Doncaster. In the background, you can actually see the Flying Scotsman there because I have the Deluxe Edition. There we go. Have I got the the reverser and forward. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's going to be an all-stop service today. There's only five stops on the line. So it's expected... Oh, whoops. It just started rolling backward. Haha. <laughs> um, and it's going to take about 50 minutes. Look at the flying Scotsman. We will be trying now, of course. And... Because I, I've got Great Western Express, I'll also be trying to be taking an LNER reskin of the of the MTU engined HST along this route, and also the Class 66. So stay tuned for all of those videos. Let's hear the horn. I like the horn. I like it. The horn sounds great, but apparently for the traction mode. Come on. Apparently for the traction motor sounds, has some borrowed sounds from the Class 387 Electro Star from, what was it? Uh, London Commuter, Brighton Mainline, from Trains in World 2. This should be inter This should be interesting today because this train does not have any form of speed set or Cruise control, so it's going to be direct all the way. Oh. Hello, Freightliner. A uh, terrible livery. Class 66. I better change that. Um. Oh, and on this route, you will see, um. Lumo and Hull Trains. Class 801. Uh, class 800 and 803s, respectively? But that's just because I've gotten reskinned for the Ada One. Great timing! I didn't mean for it to do like for it for that to happen. If I go to the outside view, not the, this view. See the numbers here. That is permanently stuck on 801234 because of a bug. So hopefully that should be hopefully that'll be fixed by Dovetail. They always promise to make bug fixes but never do them, so no promises on this point. Oh, and I should also mention I have also downloaded a mod. Where is it? Here we go. That fixes the passenger information screen because otherwise they're blank or just look te or they're either blank or inaccurate. So that actually is fixed now. Another problem with this route seems to be transparent trees, as you can see there. Apparently, that's a simple that's a simple ini dot ini file fix, but can't do that. This screen is somewhat functional, i.e. not very functional. Um, the air conditioner sounds are good. The head, everything pretty much works somewhat. So, yeah. It's a, but I think the major problem with this is despite the fact it's a Class 800 variant, which we have been waiting for for ages, on this, or on Trains and World, it's just that the Class 800s themselves are just pretty boring. If we had had a Class 91 along with this, that would have been so cool. Like, I bet Dovetail Games is planning a Class 91 for this route, but no sign of it yet, so I hope there is. Is that construction off to the right? If you live near Peterborough, can you tell me what? Oh, um, can you tell me what that construction was? Because I don't know. I must say this train accelerates pretty quickly. We're already at 120 miles an hour. 
Next up, Newark Northgate in 38 miles. Oh, we're actually skipping out. Um, what is it? We're actually skipping out, what was it? Grantham, which is unusual because Grantham is the old, one of the only major stops on the road. That's annoying, but hey-ho. Oh, I for actually forgot to turn the safety systems on. I am so good. Steo, that's... Alright, let's turn that on. Yeah, the safety system, the safety systems are on this train are very quiet. That's the other thing I should say. They are so quiet that you can bar sometimes barely tell that they're on, and then might you could get like an emergency brake just for no reason at all. Is that level crossing barrier up? If you saw on the right, if you could free. You could go back and freeze frame that for me. New OHLE rendering, catenary, the overhead wiring rendering looks somewhat good, but then that's spoiled by the effects that the 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 pylons take ages to load in, and so yeah, they. When the horn is going at speed, it seems it seems to tad glitchy. Listen to that. Yeah, it seems a bit glitchy. Doesn't seem to infect affect the interior anyway. I'm just going to have to finesse the throttle for the next 75 miles. Oh no. Oh, hello, double yellow signal. But then it... Oh, signaling on this route's not that good. I think this route for scenery has the most boring scenery of possibly any route in the game, possibly excepting Great Western Express. It's just Br British countryside. And more British countryside. <laughs> just... For 75 miles straight and no variation at all it's crazy I have got dynamic weather turned on today so it could start raining or it could go sunny green signal nice I wish this thing had some sort of cruise control. Oh, you see that flash? You saw that flashing green signal. That is only that is only on this section of the East Coast Main Line, Peterborough to Doncaster. It because back in the 1970s or 80s, I can't remember which. They were at, um, they were actually trialing um, what was it? Uh, um. 140 mile an hour running along this route. So they tried out a flashing green aspect on the signals. That didn't work out because it's too hard to tell between green and flashing green at when you're at speed. You'd have, you have you basically just have to have in cab signaling. But the flashing aspect stayed and is still a staple of this section of the line. This is also the section where Mallard, the A4 class locomotive, got up to, um, whoops, just put it in reverse, wrong, wrong key press there, and got up to 126 miles an hour. And it's also where Flying Scotsman, which is included in this game, got up to 100 and, 
a hundred miles an hour. This route seems relatively busy in terms of the timetable, which is good. They've replaced the 90... They've taken the standard... DuckTales of Games took the standard timetable, replaced it with... Um, and replaced the night the Class 91 services with the Class 8... With Class 800... 801, sorry, services. And, by the way, if you're a British rail fan and you're absolutely outraged that there's no Class 800, I, I totally agree with you there. And... Um, that is, it's a crime that this route does not have a class 800. Um, but the apparently the only train LNER gave Dovetail Games access to was the 801. So it, the 801 it is, and it, for it's actually reasonably well modeled, and there's actually a diesel mode, but. Instead of the 2,000 horsepower you get in a class 800 diesel engine, you only get 750 in the um, in the 801 because it's only supposed to be a form of self-recovery. It's not supposed to be like a, a mode which you would use all the time. And another problem I have with this road is it's the wrong section of the East Coast Main Line. Why the heck did Dovetail Games not do um, East Coast Main Line, King's Cross, stutter, um, as I was saying, why did they not do King's Cross to Peterborough? That's the most famous section, and um, that is... They could have, they could have, um, had the class 800, LNER class 800, then they could have had the class 387, taken the class 387 from the London computer route, reskinned it into a Thameslink livery, and put it on there, and then also had the class 700, um, um, from the loco, loco pack for the southeastern high speed, and then also, come on. Had, and then also they could have done like a class 717 as well and so had a massive variety of running times but no they, even if they didn't want to do that because it was quote unquote too hard they could at least have done um, I don't know York to Newcastle or something that's, that's probably the second most famous section but no they had to choose the most boring section of the East Coast Main Line, the section that hardly anyone knows about. I didn't even know about this section. And that that just smack and that just that just smacks of incompetence and lack of um of what was it? lack of they d as I was saying Dovetail Games does not listen to the player base if you didn't know that already they do not listen to the player base at all it's it's a disgrace I I'm probably going to put a review on Steam saying that this this game is not recommended it's an absolute disgrace like why? Why do you have to ruin one of the best games on the on the internet? Mind you, I love playing Trains and World, but it's often ruined by the utter do dovetail games and sometimes utter incompetence and lack of respect for the player base. And I'm sorry, I oh hello speed speed limit change coming up, and we're down to two tracks. Yeah, it's it's just terrible. Like, come on. <sighs> oh 
why. And into the tunnel. 18 miles to Newark North Gate. a really nice section of route. I think it's time for some photo mode. I love the photo mode in this game. Like this is the best part of that's the best part of T um Train Sim World. Just um just the photo mode in itself. Uh okay I'm still getting used to it though. Alright, that's good. Oh, that is a good thumbnail. That looks good. <sighs> Transparent trees. Ugh, I hate that. And I'm not confident enough yet to mess around with the INI, to do some INI file tweaking, which you can do on PC. If you're on Xbox, sorry, you're out of luck. Or PlayStation, I should add. This screen here is somewhat well modeled. It can be quite um, uh, buggy, but it works. So, suppose we must be thankful for little things. And also on this route at Peterborough, if you have the class 700 from Southeastern high speed, you'll be able to layer that onto um, that also layers onto Peterborough only, just as AI surfaces and. Um, the occasional yard move, but that's it. Well, looks like we have a very short section of 100 coming up. Oh, I think I know why. I think we're coming up to Grantham. Yeah, this is Grantham. Alright, it's time to toot the horn. <laughs> Through Grantham. It's hard to find all stop surfaces on this line, unfortunately. Some surfaces go direct from. go direct um, between stops, and it takes. Oh, and it takes, like, 40 minute 40 minutes of continuous driving with no stops. I don't agree with that for sure. If you could do the all stop surfaces, do the all stop surfaces if possible. Thirteen miles to Newark Northgate. So we've actually come a considerable distance, my word. This trade is no slouch. And we get to go back up to 125, looks like after, or in this tunnel. Cap lighting seems reasonably realistic. 
which is nice. Back up to 125. Nice. This, by the way, this train is electronically locked or limited to 125 miles an hour. So if you go and so if you go this, so if you put it to full throttle, it'll just top out at one. It'll just top out at 127 and not go any faster. Unfortunately, for all of those people who like to speed test their trains, me included. I wonder what the Class 800 series would actually be capable of in electric mode at full chat. That would be interesting. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's actually two separate versions of the 801, not 800, I keep thinking 800. I'm having to get used to 801. There are two separate versions of the 801 on this route. I'm driving the Slash 2, which has 10, not 10 cars, 9 cars. And there's also the Slash 1, which is the, um five car version you can couple two of those together and you can couple two of those together and run it as a ten car if you want to eight point two miles to Newark Northgate this train breaks pretty fast so I'll just have to I'll have to keep an eye on had any AWS AWS cancellations in a while. Is that realistic? Tell me in the comments. You can tell that this route is boring already. I've run out of things to talk about. Ha <laughs> ha. Now we're on to a three track section. Since I'm in person, I have to call railway crossings level crossings. Oh, massive stutter. What was that? Whoa. Oh, it must be because that train loaded in. Ugh. Right. Are there any speed limit changes coming up to Newark Northgate? I think there are. Um, I think it goes down to a hundred, but since we're stopping, that doesn't matter. I'll start minimum break at two miles out. I'm just keeping an eye on the um, keeping an eye on the distance counter. Another 801? Oh! Stop. Where is it?
Where is this train? Um, come on. Oh, there's no shift to speed up. So I'll just have to fly the camera backward very slowly. That is annoying. Why is there no sh speed camera speed up mode in um in the photo mode? That's annoying. Okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Here's one of the third party liveries I downloaded. Zuma celebrating Scotland. Looks pretty good. Like it. And there's my there's my one there. Oh, stop the power. Coming up the, coming up to Newark Northgate. And I think Newark. I always think Newark, New Jersey. I never associate it with, with the origin of the pla uh, origin of the actual origin of the place named Newark, which is probably this place. It's just probably this Newark coming up here. Give it fifty percent. Lots of level crossings on this route. Like I've had like five in the past two miles. Must say the brakes on this are very responsive. That's very helpful. It looks as though we're coming into Newark possibly on time? Who knows? Alright. We have a 100 limit coming up. That doesn't matter because we're stopping anyway. Right. 100% to get this thing slowed down. So this is New York Northgate. Next break, and bullseye. Right, unlock the doors. And, okay, so this is New York Northgate. Oh, while I'm here, whoops, wrong button, there we go. I'll actually get out of the sea. I haven't got the vigilance isolate. I haven't got the vigilance on, so if we go in here. Cab, oh, the, so the, I'll show you the interior on this thing. So this is standard class, very nicely modeled actually. Um, I actually go back to the cab and go into shut the door, go back into external cab because otherwise it'd just take way too long to walk down the whole nine car unit. So if I fly in here. There we go. Just behind that door over there is a kitchen. Which is a nice touch. It's actually quite well modeled, but no chef mode, unfortunately. So if I just fly up here... Yes. This is the insanely overhyped flat crossing. This is apparently the only flat crossing left on the major UK railway network. Well, that's slightly interesting. Dovetail Games just massively overhyped this and said it was the main feature of the route. It isn't. It's basically just... It's two tracks crossing over each other. What's so interesting about that is what I want to know. <sighs> yeah. have to wait for another minute. So, let's see if we can find one of the new 
Oh, there's a little, there's one of the new dioramas. Oh, and it's actually beginning to rain, so I'll have to put the wiper. It's actually beginning to rain, because I've got dynamic weather. That's a nice touch. Come on, where is it? There's, there's got to be one of them. There's got to be a... Uh, New York does not have one of the new coffee shops, unfortunately. Where's the wiper control? Let's put it to 10. There are new rain effects on the windscreen, apparently. The wiper seems to have a nice noise. Listen. That's, that sounds pretty good, actually. I don't think I actually need to increase the speed here. Alright, full power as oh. Give you the give you the traction motor sounds. So that's the traction motor sounds for you. See what I mean about the flat crossing? Boring. I think the wiper's going a bit too fast. Next stop, Doncaster in 33 miles. So we've actually come up over halfway on the route. Back up to 125. We're not stopping at Retford either. So, it's, so the service for today was Peterborough, Newark, Doncaster, while skipping Grantham and Retford, which is a bit sad. But that doesn't mean we get to, we that does not mean we get to check out those stations, unfortunately. Is it still raining? Yeah, you can barely tell, but it's still raining. Apparently there are new rain effects on the windshield. If you look very carefully, you can tell. Which is a nice upgrade, but... My point is, Train Sim Mob 4 should not exist yet. All of this should have been core upgrades to, the, to Train Sim Mob 3. There should not be Train Sim Mob 4 this early. It's too... It's not... Releasing Train Sim Mob 4 just a year after Train Sim Mob 3, that just smacks of a cash grab. That is just... dodgy business practice. And so much about Train Sim Mob 4 is just half arsed like the like the 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 routes are poorly optimized they're buggy they're they're just they don't warrant a new game they just warrant a core upgrade no new game track section. Oh, if you have the Midland Main Line, 
then you get HST um, surfaces along this route, and you also get um, what was it? Uh, uh, and you also get some class 158 surfaces as well. Which, to be fair, if you already have the Midland Main Line, Midland Main Line, great route, even though I don't have it as yet. I might get it, but as I already have Great Western Express, I don't think I need another, I don't think I need another HST and diesel multiple unit set. Really. Following something. Not that, not that camera view. Not that button. This button. There we go. Is there someone up ahead of me who's causing all of these signals? Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Turn down the wiper speed. I don't need it that much. Okay. However, I really hope that someone, whoever's out there, if you're listening, Please make an East Coast Mainline South in the PC editor. I, in fact, I really hope someone's making that already. But if you're if 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 you're out there, this is a direct appeal to you to please make the East Coast Mainline South because otherwise we're just stuck with this section. It, it's the polling section. One hundred and fifteen limit coming up. Oh boy. Shut the power off and put the brakes on.
and yay, we get to go back up to 120. I really hope I get a platinum medal today. I haven't gotten a platinum medal in a while. Oh, and if you're wondering, I said in my last video that the Metrolink EMDF125 video that I'd be doing the cab car. I spent all of yesterday recording that, but then it turned out the footage was unusable. So I decided to just go on to the East Coast Main Line because I was actually getting rather sick of driving on the Antelope Valley Line, to be brutally honest with you. Yay, back up to 125. Oh, here's Whitford. That was Retford, 16 miles to Doncaster. To be fair, this route is slightly more interesting than Kassel to Würzburg, which is the German core route for trains in World 3, because in the German trains you just switch on the IFB and let the train drive itself most of the time. In this one, you're actually having to keep an eye on how much throttle and brake you're using. Oh, there's a dash one. I keep thinking slash one, but it's actually dash one. Really giving me anti aliasing a workout today. To be fair, all of the stations on this line are exquisitely bottled. Peterborough looks great, Grantham looks great, Newark looks great, Retford looks great, and Doncaster looks pretty darn good. But that doesn't... that, that can't really save the round though. Wondering, does the class 801 layer into the um, St. Pancras on southeastern high speed? If you could let me know in the comments, that would be very much appreciated. Is it still raining? You can barely tell. Oh yeah, you can tell alright just because it's not contrasting that well. Next video I'm planning on doing on this line is taking the, um, what was it? Class 66, reskinned in a Great British Rail Freight, GBRF, liver livery, and take it, taking it along this route in the lightning store at night. Ooh, that should be fun. Oh, 110 limit coming up. Oh. Nine miles to Doncaster, so not too far.
by the way, if you're interested, this is basically a Japanese bullet train. And while you British Rail fans out there are like, what is, what in the world is he talking about? It's true, these units were actually built by Hitachi. Yes, that's how it's pronounced in Japan. Hitachi. Um, not Hitachi or something like that. Um, basically, what did, um, um, what, where was I? Oh, yes. Um, these units were built entirely um, by Hitachi at their Kamioka plant in Shizuoka Prefecture, Japan, which is actually a six hour drive away from me. Um, um, and then they were shipped over to the UK. None of it was built in Britain. This is not a British train. This is a Japanese train, as crazy as that sounds. I've been meaning to put that little snippet of information in one of my videos. I've been waiting for a good opportunity to do so. It's it's actually in the same family of trains. It's the Hitachi A train family. It's in the same family of trains as an express train, which I ride when I go down to Osaka. Which is quite interesting. I've seen two of those celebrating Scotland Azumas shooting past me today, even though there's only supposed to be one of them in the world. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear. Five point two miles to Donny. Doncaster is actually the home of the Flying Scotsman, so I can see maybe a bit why Dovetail Games chose this particular section of route because Doncaster is where the Flying Scotsman was built a hundred years ago this year, but that's not an excuse, really. go. Now we're starting to come into the Doncaster station sphere, sphere of influence, I should call it. Very British weather this, light drizzle. Just enough to have the wipers on at their, all, at their lowest power, but not enough to really warrant any precautions. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Dovetail Games actually has tailored the dynamic weather to each country. I know they've tailored it to season, but I don't know if they've done it to dynamic to each country. That'd be interesting to find out. Alright. Two miles. Let's put on the brake. Double yellow. As a class 66. Whoa, massive stutter. It must be loading in Doncaster. Oh! Get it in photo mode a second. I want to show you something. You see these DB Schenker wagons over here? There's my train, by the way. You see these DB Schenker wagons? Those will only appear if you have the Great Western Express route. Slow down. Whoa. I'm getting... I'm getting like 20 frames. I was getting like 20 frames per second for like 10 seconds there. Because of all the stuff they're loading in. Okay. Oh. There's a freight... another badly botched Freightliner livery. It looks like I've actually got a signal, red signal coming up before I go in. Oh, I'll have to wait to get into the platform. Ugh.
We're raining pretty steadily. Let's get this wiper speed up. Raining steadily as we come into Doncaster. Oh, next break. This thing breaks pretty darn hard if needed, so I shouldn't have to worry about AWS giving me. Whoa, Doncaster is really hard on the old frame rate. Okay, so here's the red signal. Oh, and it's turned to yellow. Okay. Right. Stop at Doncaster in 700 yards. Okay. So I could afford to slow down coming in here. Let's turn the wiper speed up again. No, not that much. Raining steadily. Wait a second. What's that up there? That is another 801 at the same platform as... No, I'm actually coming into this platform. Phew, okay. Scared me a second there. Oh, so we're actually coming into this platform. Okay. Or LNER service to Edinburgh coming in NPC, so you don't have to work. You don't have to. You don't have to worry. Your your trade has arrived. There we go. Doncaster platform eight. Get it down to ten miles an hour. Okay, we are coming in. A minute early. That's great. Despite that adverse signal just before we came in here. All right, let's slow down a bit. Wait a minute. Is it having me stop past that red signal? No, it can't. Next for the break, please. All right. Open the doors. Oh, I have to actually stay in here to shut the doors, so... Just wait for a second. I'll turn the reverser to off. Shut down. No, I have to have the reverser put it in neutral. TPWS and AWS operational. Shut the A. Oh! Shut the AWS. Oh! Did I get. Please tell me I got a platinum medal, please? Yes! I got it! Uh, I know it's completely pointless, but anyway. Let's turn the AWS off. Leave the cab. And walk to the back of the train. Let's get in here. Oh gosh, get out of the way. Close the door. Let's walk through the train, or rather run through the train. Oh. PIS systems actually work pretty, pretty well. Pretty full train up to Edinburgh. There's one more thing. Quieter coach. So this is the first class compartment here. First class, and more first class through here. The the Dash 1 version, the 5 car version, is like this, only with a no first class section, I'm pretty sure. Come on. 
Come on, let's go. Let's keep going through. Ah, here we go. Finally, this trade is so long. Cle train crew only. So this is the... This is the um, chef area. Somewhat modelled. And this is a bit of a train crew area. And this is a cr the crew doors. Shut the crew... Shut the crew door. How do I do that? This the door even. No, oh, never mind. I'll leave it open. Oh gosh, it's now thundering pretty badly here in Doncaster. Wait a minute, there's a cafe somewhere in Doncaster, and I want to find out where that is. Where's this service going? Harrogate. Oh, nice. I always wanted to go to Harrogate. Come on. Cannot find. Let's go to platform zero. There's a platform zero here? Oh, it's an elevator. Up the stairs. Um, King's Cross. Where is it? It's somewhere here. There is a cafe somewhere here. Is this it? There's a little diorama there. Ah, here it is. Here's a coffee shop. Some liquid bean cafe. My godfather would love. He loves coffee. He would love going here. But let's go back to the home screen. Okay, where is it? It is. Not here. Peter Bird to Doncaster Scenarios, limping off scenario. Here we go. This is this is so I can demonstrate the diesel mode on this train. In real life, you'd actually have to get permission, written permission from Hitachi themselves before turning on the train power. Before turning on the diesel engine. Okay. Good afternoon. This unit has suffered an electrical fault and we'll need to take it to the depot under the power of the diesel engine. Talk to Emily. I assume Emily is this person here. Yes. Talk to. Hi driver, this train needs to take it to the depot due to an electrical an electrical fault. Take this train to the depot and collect a replacement train so you can continue your service. We'll do. Right. Sit in the driver's seat. Come okay, on, where am I? Oh, this is Doncaster, okay. Get the wiper. Let's get the wipers off first. Twenty-five. Um. Master key. Reverser. Oh, reverser to neutral. Okay. Unit hatch close. Where is that? Oh, it's back here. Okay. Unit hatch close. Right. Press the diesel button. Okay. So this is what I've been doing wrong all this time. Okay. Press the, hold the engine start. Engine has started. Pantograph down. Let's listen to the engine. Yeah, you can hear that, all right. Reverser two, forward. Apply some power, right. Let's give it notch two, out of, uh, notch two. Right. Oh gosh, this thing gets going slowly. Let's give it notch four. So there's one 750 horsepower diesel engine under this car here. There we go. Headlights on. Right, Doncaster Car, Depot Shed, Road 3 in 1 mile. Oh, I have to go down to 5? Five? 5 miles an hour. 
You're joking. Oh gosh. The Doncaster car depot is actually really well modeled, so I want to I'll take the take I'll take the scenario as far as that just to um just to demonstrate just to show it. But then I will I will do the whole scenario. Right. Fifteen limit coming up, so I'll get it down. Fifteen and shut the power off. Oh no! Full brakes! I did not realize there was a red signal there. Good thing this thing brakes really well. Contact the signaler. Wait for signal to change. Ugh. So where are we going? So the Doncaster Depot is actually down here. So this the whole building is basically a giant depot. And then, why have we got a red signal? Is there another train coming? No, because we're blocking the exit. Huh. So we'll just have to wait. So what? Which one is this? Oh uh, yeah, this is the five cars dash one version. Not in service. Okay. I could just. That darkens the whole screen, so. We don't need that right now, anyway. We have the usual very, very limited function GSMR radio. Oh, there's a little pop-out desk for the second man. That's a nice little function. Wait a minute. The next signal aspect up at the top right is reading green, but this signal here is reading red. I think this is a bug, so let's just give it notch four and see what happens. I know, I'm violating, I'm technically violating red signal, but I think this, this is just because of a bug. Yeah, it is. Come on. If you have two of these dash one cu units coupled together, then it'll, then it'll be good, cap light. Um, then you can use it quite well, but, whoops. Breaking the speed limit. You come into this to the Doncaster depot extremely slowly. Oh gosh, I've got the five limit coming up. Let's give it twenty-five percent. I've got 0. 0.6 miles at five miles an hour. No. Is it, are we going the right way? Yeah, we are. Okay, good. Oh no. Let's give it notch one just to try to maintain our speed. Notch. Look how slowly we're going. Oh gosh. Because of the steepness of this grade, I'm having to... Uh, wish this thing had a speed set mode. Is there anything that would suggest a speed set mode? I don't... Actually, I'll go up to 15 miles an hour. I don't care if I'm breaking the speed limit because I'm not completing this scenario today. It's just to show you the depot and the diesel mode. I know I'm technically tripling the speed limit right now, but this is just to show you the depth of so no hard, no hard feelings. So we'll turn here. 
Those workmen in those orange vests would probably be shouting at me right now. So here we go. That squat building over on the um, that we're coming toward is is the depot. Here we go, coming into Doncaster Car Depot. This is actually really nicely modeled. Look at this! Whoops, wrong button. There we go. Um, actually, look at this place. So, there's an LN. This is what it looks like. Look at the details on those stairs. Ambient sounds are nice as well. A little forklift with some blokes here. So here we are. Slow down here. Let's get the stop absolutely spot on. I can turn the wiper off. We're in the. And I could put the lights onto tail lights because. Come on. Alright. I like how the lights are actually on the steel girders. That's nice. He's waiting for me to come in, looks like. Come on. Alright, no. Power off and full brakes. Alright. A replacement train. Um. How do I climb over this? Okay. Here we go. Is this is what, this what the depot looks like. Really just gorgeously modeled. I think this is the best depot in the game. Uh, honestly. Can I climb up here? Come on, please let me climb up here. Yes! Nice. This is what the top details on the Ada 1 looks like. There's no overhead OHLE in here. Are you supposed to use the diesel every time? Coming in here? That's weird. But, yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time with that Class 66 video. And goodbye. Thank you for watching.